Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day today and in this video we're going to be doing a review for Star Trek for The Voyage Home which came out in 1986. Now this movie came out after The Wrath of Khan and The Search for Spock where after Spock had sacrificed himself and then they kind of made it to where he came back. So in this movie the crew is all reunited and they were on a new mission that involves some pretty interesting stuff involving time travel and going to Earth. So to just kind of hop right into the review this is a really good continuation of the story that had already happened, and the film doesn't really end on a cliffhanger or something like that that would get you hooked for the fifth Star Trek movie, although obviously that did come later, as well as many more sequels. A lot of people have actually described that Star Trek movies 2 through 4 could actually work as a standalone trilogy, and it actually makes sense when you think about it because this really completes the arc that was set up in the second Star Trek movie, and you don't even have to watch the first Star Trek movie to understand understand anything that goes on in the second one. So if you really do think about it, Star Trek movies 2 through 4 is kind of a trilogy in and of itself. But when it comes to this movie, this is one of the most unique movies in the Star Trek franchise just because of the nature of them going to Earth in the year 1986 because it was the present time then. So they incorporated time travel and obviously had them going to Earth. And as I said, that's just such a unique setting that makes the plot very interesting about this mission that they're on to save the whales and it's just naturally one of the more funny Star Trek films. There are just some really hilarious moments because it's kind of this fish out of water scenario where our main characters don't really completely understand the culture and everything here and it's also kind of funny because this movie actually like came out in the 80s so it's not even like it was trying to replicate what the 80s actually were because it was the 80s when this movie came out if that even made sense what i just said so it's just a lot of fun seeing all these characters in this really awesome setting and the cast is great as usual that's the biggest strength of these star trek movies the cast just has really good chemistry with each other and they're all just very iconic. They do such a great job in their roles. They understand the characters. And unlike some of the other Star Trek movies, it actually feels like everyone gets a moment to shine in this movie in their own unique way. They all contribute to the plot very well. And there is just this really good sense of urgency as this mission is going down. And there is some romance in here as well, some great character work. It'll make you feel some different emotions. The visuals were also pretty good. For a lot of it, obviously, they just had to do, like, the streets. So that stuff wasn't too hard, but they do have spaceships, that kind of stuff. And when it comes to the Star Trek movies that came out in the 80s I'm not like entirely sure how much of it they were able to do on computers with the limited technology of the time and how much of it they were able to do practically but overall I think it was phenomenal for the time obviously it's not anything too crazy by today's standards but the visuals overall for the time were very good the only downside to the nature of this movie is that it's naturally not too heavy on action or at least space battles and that kind of stuff in the way that we saw them in other Star Trek movies. Obviously you have like the hospital chase and that stuff which is just a ton of fun. But it does feel like, compared to some of the other movies, it is more of just people talking and that kind of stuff driving the plot. Not that there's no action, but it's not the kind of space action that you get from the other movies. But that's not really a huge problem because, as I already said, this is just a really unique movie. It does a very good job of what it's going for. So overall, on the quality scale of 0 to 100, we'll give it an 87%. And I would definitely recommend this if you're a fan of Star Trek and you haven't already seen it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.